scientists have never witnessed before. A magnetic polar flip of the strongest solar cycles on record with Earth's weakening magnetic field. That a CME will disrupt GPS service across the globe for many days or even weeks. Even more concerning is the chance of a Carrington-level solar flare. I think this thing is going to arrive much earlier than they say it is. We should be preparing. He's going to go back blue, green, red. I keep telling y'all this because the hydrogen is coming back into the atmosphere. Nibiru is here. All right? So the hydrogen is coming back into the atmosphere. That, that red sky that everybody was seeing in, 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 in California when the sky was red and orange and motherfuckers didn't know what was going on and they tried to lie on the news and make it sound like it was coming from the fires. No, the fires was real. That was Nibiru. The closer Nibiru is a sun, a planet, and a spaceship all in one. So the closer it gets into our atmosphere, the bigger it's going to appear. Right? Like right now, people are already seeing this second sun, which they don't know is really a spaceship and a planet and a sun all in one. All right? Because this is how advanced technology is in the cosmos. All right? So, as it gets closer to the atmosphere, it sucks out this oxygen that was forced into our atmosphere. And it starts pumps in the rare iron oxide, nigga. Out of their ships, and the rare iron oxide is what was filling the air in California. You know what I'm saying? So, the, the news tried to make it sound like that was coming from the fires. That, that, the, the sky don't go red from the fires. Only fuck how much wood forest burn down. Nigga, the sky ain't gonna go completely red from that. The sky will get smoky and black, not red and, and bright orange like they sky was looking. Alright? So, this is the true reason. If you was in California, it's the true reason why they sky was looking like that. But, also, you see a lot of videos of people seeing the second sun. But notice how small it's looking? That's because the ship ain't that close yet. It's getting close, though. And the closer it get, the bigger it's gonna get. That shit bigger than the sun that we got, nigga. That shit way bigger than the sun we got. And the closer it get, the shit gonna start looking so crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be looking crazy and crazy and crazy. And we're gonna be shifting more and more because the, the Nibiru helps reset the it resets planets. It's a spaceship that we created that orbits throughout the whole cosmos and it goes around and it helps reset planets. And this planet had to be reset because our invaders have poisoned the soil. They had us in the deepest of trails. We were so lost, man. Look, we dropped. Look how look how little we is. Look at our pigmentations. We were bright blue, green, red. We were 50 feet. We were we were flying and levitating and using our electrical abilities. We weren't doing nothing. There should be no competition. There should be there should be no 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 sense of ego when we in the middle of rising right now. Because right now we got what they trying to call as a heat wave, but it's not a heat wave. We're actually going through a pole shift. And the fucking sun is not even, the sun, the, our original sun is out every day, ain't even out right now. That's planet Nibiru, and it's been in the fucking sky for the last few weeks. It moved closer to the planet. Nibiru is a planet, a spaceship, and a sun, all right? Now, they're trying to label it as the silver sun. <clears throat> they're trying to, they trying to tell motherfuckers it's a heat wave. No, the Nerubians out here, and they're cleaning up the sky, and I've been sp speaking about this for months. I told y'all, look. You got all type of beings here that's a part of the Galactic Confederation. And, the, and they got different jobs. Like the Nerubian's job is to go in the sky and clean up all the oxygen and all the more jealous out of our sky that these put, that these invaders put in our air. And that's what the fuck been going on. So if you're going to feel the planet warming up, you're going to feel it being harder to breathe right now because your avatars, everybody's used to breathing oxygen when we're supposed to be breathing hydrogen. And I've showed this before with DNA links and stuff like that and how it looked on a chart, DNA, which is really DEA, and how it's three of them and how you got the little links, those are hydrogen links. Originally, we breathed hydrogen on this planet, on this realm. All right, so, but not only that, the whole planet was always naturally warm. So, when they on the news and they talking about, oh, it's historic heat waves, no, they're lying to, to the masses. Winter is not natural to the planet, and it never was, so what's actually happening is the planet is going back to her ancient ways. She is detoxing herself of these per 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 parasitical invaders, and that's why I've been telling y'all since last year, human beings, I say, get right. Get y'all get right with us. Because if not, y'all gonna be going through spontaneous combustion because y'all lack neuromelanin. And the planet is warming up. They've been talking to y'all about global warming the last 30 years.
That's what they have been coding it as. This is not global warming. Nigga, we coming back to this bitch, nigga. The Anunnakis, the ancient ones that, that's, that's been outside the planet. Motherfuckers had to come from headquarters and come back to get it right down here because these reptilians had us fucked up down here. Motherfuckers been all outside of they self. It got too out of hand. See what I'm saying? So that's what's been going on. The poles are shifting. Winter is eradicating itself from the planet. The planet is going back to super warm temperates. And the warmer it gets, the stronger we get. See what I'm saying? Because we are naturally used to a warm energy. We are full of photon energy. And human beings, because y'all are a completely different specimen, y'all are single cell organisms. I've always taught this. This is science. This is this is science. This isn't racism. This is science. You cannot take the sun because you are a single cell organism and you are not from this planet. You are from another planet called NERN in the sixth year, which is located in the sixth universe. Your your original planet, the origins of your planet, you have no sun. You have two moons. It's always cold. And y'all always warring and fighting on y'all planet. That's why when y'all here, y'all got a natural instinct to war. Because on y'all planet, all y'all do is war. I'm just giving y'all the real origins of y'all planet because, you know, these 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 elites ain't going to tell y'all. They don't give a fuck about y'all white America. I've been telling y'all this. I told y'all they signed y'all over to the insect toys and the grays. Who been eating y'all last since the 60s. So all them stories that came out when white people were saying they got abducted. Y'all was really getting y'all ass snatched up by the collar. I've been telling y'all that. Y'all just ain't listening to me. See what I'm saying? I'm just a crazy guy on YouTube. So, suit yourself. Get what I'm saying? I'd rather be crazy and know what's going on than, than think, to act like I know what's going on and fit in with the crowd and I'm really crazy because I don't know shit about what's going on. I'm not paying no attention to the, to the shit. All right? The planet is going through an entire polar shift. So you have to understand what the, the creation story. In the beginning, pre-1492, before Columbus and came, we were at a high frequency. It's warm everywhere in the cosmos. But once they came and landed on our planet in spaceships and entered our planet through portals in the Caucasus Mountains, they knocked us out of balance. When they revolted against us and attacked us from the inside by, by, by using our ancient technology to, to blow away our second sun, the Pleiadians and these human beings did, the hierarchy human beings, you know, it knocked us out of frequency. It knocked us off balance. We fell in frequency. So it caused our planet to shift. When we get upset because we are connected to the sun, the sun ain't shit but a big ass chromosome, which we have chromosomes in us. So basically anybody with neuromelanin in a pineal gland that's open and a, and a spirit and a soul has the ability to alter the sun's radiation based on his or her feelings. And we do this all the time, not knowing it. You connected to that sun out there. Why do you think Bill Gates wanted to block it? Trying to shut you out from all your power. I keep telling y'all who y'all, y'all Superman. The whole story of Superman is about you. Now, you don't believe you can do the shit Superman can do. You don't believe you can because your planet ain't got the right temper. The hotter it get, you'll see who you is. The warmer that sun get, the warmer, the, the more they can kill, the more the cool air leaves the planet, the more we continue to rise as we move through this pole shift. Boy, you're going to see what's, what's why you 666. You're going to see what 666 really is nigga warmer the sun feel on your skin the reason the sun get the feeling so hot is because you got all this fluoride and you and arsenic and all these poisons that's been put in your in your avatar through the food they give us when that sun feel like it's burning you and you got like that neuromelanin in you that's the sun that's the that's the heat the natural pure cosmic heat burning off the toxins from you when all the toxins off you, I don't give a fuck if it was a thousand degrees outside. It's gonna feel normal to you. You made, you are the sun. You give it life. You you created the sun. You feel me? But they had to put poison. That's another reason they put poison in you to make your ass get out the sun. To not be able to take you. you feel me? That was another part of why they did that to us. You feel me? You feel me? Like if you're a human being, start meditating. 
Y'all need to stop being racist. I'm trying to tell you, if you're a human being, don't be racist. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's over with for you. You racist, your ass is done for. See what I'm saying? I've been, I've been saying this since last year, like the planet herself is going to start killing y'all off. So it's called spontaneous combustion. Y'all lack the, y'all lack, y'all lack the molecular properties and chemical properties and metaphysical properties to survive at this level of frequency being a single cell organism and y'all carry so much hate in y'all heart which is a low vibration because y'all father Zeus gave that to y'all you have to clean y'all have to cleanse y'all aura field because having spirits y'all still have a form of an aura field human beings y'all gotta cleanse y'all aura field of all that hate and y'all gotta cleanse y'all aura field of all that ego let it go y'all ain't create shit and it's okay you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't make shit. Y'all ain't create shit. And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? That I'm lesser than. Because you, you're you honestly not, though. See what I'm saying? Like, you're not. But we can't sit here and lie about genetics, though. I'm not going to lie about genetics. <coughs> like, I don't have care how I say that shit. It's going to sound racist. But it's genetic fact, though. We talking science. See what I'm saying? We didn't do that shit when y'all told us in the Bible that the reason that it's even black people is because of the curse or ha- curse of Ham. Nigga, black people still went to church and ate that shit up for years. It's a whole chapter in the Bible in the beginning, too, about the curse of Ham that explains that that's supposed to be the reason why our skin is this complexion. We, 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 we took it on the chin for a long time. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's grow here. Let's grow here, man. Like, y'all made no contributions to science, math, medicine, arithmetic, philosophy. Y'all made nothing. Nothing. Y'all did nothing but land here, learn, stole everything, and put it back out. And that's okay because you personally didn't do it. Your ancestors did it. So you got to know that, okay, that's some shit my ancestors did. But for me to grow, I I got to understand history, you know? Like, you ain't got to understand shit. See what I'm saying? You ain't got to understand nothing. But you should try to understand things as opposed to attacking them from an emotional state of view. Feel me? We talking science. Let's leave the emotions behind. Let's leave all the... Let's, let's just talk. We just